Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Did everyone rest? No? Well, you were dancing, I know that. So, um, I guess December means that we get to summarize the entire year and where we, where we finished, uh, which was a pretty amazing year in uh, 2016. So, um, we ended up with uh, just a little bit more uh, in listings at about 1.5%. Uh, sales were up about 27%, which we all lived through last year. And that, of course, meant we had a, the, the problem that we had all year long was a declining inventory. Our inventory was down about 25%. Uh, we ended up with 7,322 sales. Um, give you a little comparison of to where that stands in the history of our board. 2007 was the previous best year where we had 6,143 sales or 19% less sales. So uh, it was a significant change. I would say that 07 uh, wasn't quite that far off the gap because I do think more stuff went through the, uh, the, didn't go through the MLS, went through exclusively. There was a lot more developer product, et cetera, that went through, but still clearly the best year in the history of real estate in the central Okanagan. Um, the media tried to suggest that maybe it had slowed down in December and maybe it was over, but uh, the reality is that we were still up about 3.5% in December over the previous year um, with 352 sales compared to 340 in December of 2015. In residential, um, this is the market that uh, has remained, uh, the, the the sales are starting to back off, I think, mostly because of price. Uh, 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 listings are up about 2%, sales up about 19%, so not as uh, comparable to the rest of the ca uh, categories. Inventory down about 23%. We sold 73% of all the listings that we took last year. So that's a, a pretty healthy number. And last month, uh, we had actually more sales than listing taken, listings taken. The average price rose by about 17% on average last year. And talking to people about their uh, property assessments, which have been rolling in, it appears to be different parts of the markets went up uh, different amounts. So I know my personal house went up 8%, and I've heard 20, 30% in the downtown core. Is that what you guys are hearing? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah I, I, someone actually told me 40% in the downtown core. So gives you a perspective. So. Those of you who didn't live in the downtown core, your taxes might actually go down. They're going up in the downtown core, though. Uh, in the condo market, um, the, uh, this is the market that probably will have the most pressure on it as we try to replace inventory, which just doesn't happen very quickly. Uh, listings up about 8%, <coughs> sales uh, up about uh, 38%. We have about three months worth of inventory right now. Uh, over 80% of all the listings that were taken last year sold. So a very, very, very high number. Um, Last month, there was actually nine more sales than listings taken, and the average price went up about 13% in condo last year. I thought it would have gone up more than that because of the, of the tight inventory, but I think we may see that pressure this year if the market remains hot. Uh, in the townhouse market, listings up about 2%, sales up about 20%. Again, very tight inventory there. About 85% of all the listings that were taken last year sold. Uh, prices were up about 10%, and in December we saw twice as many sales as we saw listings taken, so uh, the inventory remains very tight there. Uh, in lots, sales up 72%, but I think that's a little tough to, to gauge because we don't know how much stuff doesn't go through the MLS, and the average uh, lot price now is almost $250,000. Uh, in the mobile home market, this may be the tightest market. Uh, there are only 64 listings at the end of December in the mobiles. Uh, not a very high number, and that inventory isn't going to increase because there's not any new mobile home parks coming. Um, listings down 8% for the year, sales up 27%, and about 79% of all the listings sold last year, and the average price was about 120. If we look at the 12-month category, I guess uh, if you take the, the, the listings total at the top, you can see we just don't list a lot of stuff in December. People choose not to put their homes on the market, which is unfortunate because we preach to them in the middle of November, it's a good time to sell. Because if you look at the sales totals comparing November to December, they're actually quite comparable. Obviously off a bit in December, but for the first 20 days of the month, I would say December was as busy as November was. Um, in the residential market, you can see great stabilization in price. If you go back to June, we've sort of been in that 620, 625 mark. I would say that we generally see December as the month where it's most affordable, where the prices kind of decline a bit, but we didn't see that in December. Let's see if that continues through January, and there is pressure on, on price still. Um, the inventory at 496 listings. 
So there's not very many people in this room that will know this number, but in 1988, when I got into real estate, the residential number at the end of the year was 400. So we had 496. Now we've got a couple more people living in Kelowna than we did in 1988. Uh, so the inventory in residential, extremely tight. Now having said that, back then we didn't have a lot of condominiums and we didn't have a lot of townhouses. So I, I'll throw this percentage out, 80% of the market was residential. Whereas if you look at the sales that happened last month, we had 131 sales in residential and combined in townhouse and condominium, we had 139 sales. Reflected in the people looking at more affordable product, looking at easier product to maintain, et cetera. Um, if you go down to the townhouse market, uh, the only thing I would point out to you is that the average price actually rose in, uh, in December quite significantly. We'll see if that's a one month number or not. And then the mobile home market, if you look at the last five, six months, we're clearly in that 120, 125 average price. Any questions about the market?